Hey guys, I am back with another video, and happy Thursday. So about that Kurt Angle biopic movie. Now, yes, um, Pro Wrestling Unlimited was talking about this two days, no, three days ago after Monday Night Raw went off the air. Now, yes, I haven't talked about this that we're getting a Kurt Angle, a Kurt Angle, ang I'm sorry, I can't speak, that we're getting a Kurt Angle movie, because we already got the Iron Claw, this one is going to be about Kurt Angle, now no, it's not him on how he started to be a wrestler, this was about him when he was in the Olymp, the Olympic. Right before he started his WWE career. Now, yes, um, I totally forgot he won a Olymp, Olymp, Olympic with a broken neck. Uh, but yes, um, I don't know which company will make the movie. I know I don't know about WWE Studios because again this movie is not about his wrestling career it's about him being a player from the Olympic the Olympics To be honest I was in one not like the one that Kurt Angle was in it was like for like special reasons for a Olympic um so yeah um Yes, this is was before he was a WWE wrestler. Well, technically he was an ECW wrestler at one point, then he moved to WWE, and then back in 2006, he quit WWE to went to TNA because, well, uh, the real reason why Kurt Angle was released that time is because of um personal personal issues, like, not having a lot of matches, or not getting, like, huge matches, like, with, um, championships, like, ECW champion, the WWE champion, maybe the World Heavyweight champion, I don't remember, because I remember he was the World Champion at one point, but he lost it to Rey Mysterio, at a triple threat match in WrestleMania 22, I believe. I don't remember. But yeah, um, to be honest, I thought it was going to be about his wrestling career. But no, it's about his career over there at the Olympics. Right before he was a WWE wrestler. Now, don't get me wrong. Kurt Angle, I've seen his matches a few times. I even known him from uh, TNA a little bit. Then I found out he was in SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, which was the final time we saw Kurt Angle in a WWE game. But it's really crazy that, you know, he wrestled for other companies like WWE, TNA, New Japan Pro Wrestling. And maybe NWA, I don't remember. Anyway, are you guys excited for this movie? Let me know down comments below, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.